As we conduct more web-based research, the question that comes up is one of authority. How do we know who actually produced the site? Is it reliable? How do we validate it? Um, in a library, the books go through a pretty rigorous filtering system, you know, publishers, editors, and fact-checkers, and so forth. We need to find out if this has also been done uh, on the websites that we're going to be using as uh, resources. So what we're going to do is we're going to use Alan November's real method. And real, the R stands for read the URL. That's the universal resource locator. That's the address right up here of a website. We're going to look at, uh, the E stands for, sorry, uh, examine the content. The A in real stands for ask about the author and owner. And Al looks at the links to and from a website. Okay, the first thing we're going to do right here is we're going to read the, the, the address at the top here. Okay, we've got savetherenets.com. Okay, and it's written down here. Okay, well, I've heard of Renets before, and, or, or Renet before, but not so much Renet. So let's have a look here. We've got the top level domain is the .com. We know that anyone can pretty much own a .com. Uh, we've got the domain name is savetherenets.com. Let's truncate this a little, just see, get rid of the extension there, and we'll just, uh, no, I didn't really see a change in the site there. Okay, didn't give me any extra information. Let's just go back. No, it's pretty much the same. Okay, uh, it's a .com, which is also similar to a .net or a .org which can be owned by anyone in .org, you know, organization. They can actually be bought, be bought um, pretty simply by anyone. Unlike .edu, .edu accounts or .ac academic accounts, which actually have to be owned by uh, bona fide institutions, academic institutions. Okay, is it a personal web page? Well, we don't see any tildes or percentage signs or any names in here that suggest that it belongs to someone who's part of savetherenets.com. It's just got the index.php. What we're going to do now is examine the content. Okay, so save the renets, very noble cause. Uh, there's something about this web page, though, it doesn't quite gel. You know, if this really is a legitimate cause, you think they'd have a more up-to-date site. Um, we can see at the bottom it's 2005 to 2010. I would say this was probably created in 2005 and hasn't been updated since then. It's what we would call a very pre-Web 2.0 looking website. Okay, um, Renets are a small hamster-like rodent, uh, small hamster-like rodents. Uh, they're intensively factory farmed and slaughtered for the production of cheese. Okay. Uh, they do look like hamsters, that's for sure. What I'm going to do here, I'm not sure about this word rennets, so I'm going to use the answers add-on, Firefox add-on here. You just click Alt, tap on the word you're looking for, and see what answers.com comes up with. And we have the inner lining of the fourth stomach of calves and other ruminants, like goats, etc. A dried extract made from the stomach lining of a ruminant used in cheese making to curdle milk. Okay, well, that's where I have heard of, of rennet before. Okay, now, hmm, boy, they do look like um, hamsters. Okay, what I'm going to do, I'm going to try a little trick now. If you're on a Mac, use uh, Command Shift 4. If you're on a PC, use your snipping tool. And I'm just going to take a snapshot of that image right there. Now I'm going to submit it to a, an image search engine called TinyEye. And just put it in there. And see what it comes up with. This is a very, very useful um, web validation tool.
Okay. Okay, there's our result. We should see it load in here soon. And it will give us a link. Okay, here's the actual URL for the image, and here's the website. So I'll open that up in another tab. Uh, okay, this looks like a web log, a blog. There's the image in question. Okay, it is a blog, .nl. Okay, I'm going to take this URL. Okay, and I'm going to put it into Google Translate because this is it has the .nl uh, country code and my Dutch is not that good so let's uh, use Google Translate we're going to plug it in there it's picking up Afrikaans <laughs> it's very similar to Dutch we're gonna go from Dutch to English and translate okay I just want to make sure that hamster doesn't mean rennet in Dutch Okay, and here we have, we got the English now. And here's the picture in question. It's a Russian dwarf hamster. Okay, yeah, I'm pretty suspicious of this website now. Step three in the real validation process is um, asking about the author and the owner. The reason we want to do this is we want to know if they have any associations with groups which might explain um, any bias or a reason for them to, um, I don't know, slander the cheese making process. So let's um, use Easy Who Is to find out the owner and the, and the author. And you put the domain name in here, click next. And here we have the owner, Mark Holler. Okay, the address. Mm, okay, hostmaster. Uh, nothing in here is source. Joker.com live. Who is service? Interesting. Maybe these guys are just having a laugh. Okay, right. Another way I can do this, you know, perhaps they did have associations with some group, uh, some nefarious group. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to the Internet Archive and we're going to take me back after you've put the web address in there. And we can see if perhaps when they first designed the website that they accidentally had uh, anything in here that gave them away. Um, no, no, it looks pretty much the same as it was. Let's go back and have a look at another date. Uh, logo change, that was it. Okay, um, no. I think the next step we're going to have to go to is looking at the links to and from the site. Looking at the links, both forward links and back links, okay, in other words, links away from the website and links that are coming into a website can reveal a lot. In the same way, we expect um, students to supply a variety of sources, um, what we want to, for any work they're doing, what we want to do here is see if um, this website is actually bringing in third party information. Um, in other words, we don't want stuff that's just internal. And if we mouse, if we look down in the bottom left hand of the frame here on the browser, when we mouse over the different tabs, we see that these are all internal links, which is fine. It's usually the case with tabs, but if we start clicking on the different sections here, we can see that there are no links inside here. There's a link here, okay, another internal link um, about Rennets, nothing there, farm locator, mm -mm. write to your MP, wow, here's a website, find your, your MP in .parliament.uk, well, that's just... Uh, a normal website, it's nothing associated with Renit's buy a Renit mm. he refers to a queue in here, there's a store okay we can click on that I, again that's not really going to tell us much I don't think and um, 
this page isn't even loading so let's just go back okay not a lot of luck there not any third party support out there it looks like well we can actually see who is linking to this website as well and an easy way to do that is just to go up to Google we can type in link with the colon put in the address and go and see who is actually linking to this website and we have these ones we've got Rennet Island Save the Rennets uh, another internal link uh, the museum of hoaxes.com hoax okay seems pretty damning here's an edu account but it's actually a blog from the library uh, we could have a look at that soon let's have a look at this one first okay uh, it looks like a long article I'm going to it's got something about Renit but what we'll do is we'll just do command F. I've got ran it in there. I'm gonna see where else it appears in the article. Uh, the cheese is definitely not vegetarian. As for the Renit site, I love it. A great hoax in itself. I'm sure there'll be many blah blah blah. Okay. Oh, there's a little more evidence there. Okay, let's go back. Um, there is another method we can use as well and what I'm going to do is I'm going to type in here uh, save the rennets okay and I've done this previously and what I've got actually after it is site colon edu so it's going to find educational websites which reference save the rennets and here we have one here web evaluation okay uh, let's see what they say in here okay and again I'm going to look for Rennet on this page save the Rennets there it is there it's a link to it as you can see at the bottom any other information on this page nothing selected websites mm. dihydrogen monoxide that would be water Manhattan Airport Foundation right okay um, yeah this looks like a collection of hoax websites as well possibly four because it belongs to the library I guess we're looking at information literacy as well okay yeah I'm pretty sure with all the evidence we've got so far that this website is the hoax So what did we get from this real um, evaluation process? Well, we read the URL. Uh, it was a .com, which anyone can get. It wasn't a D an EDU site. It wasn't an academic site. But neither was it a personal page as well. We examined the content. Although we shouldn't judge a book by its cover, it did look a little wanting. If this really is a noble cause, and there are lots of animal rights people out there, um, I'm sure this website would have probably looked a lot more believable and a lot more professional. We, we looked at the image of the Rennet and were able to reveal that it was in fact a hamster taken from another website. We asked about the author and the owner and we went to Easy Who Is. It suggested uh, that this was a joke site. But we couldn't find any previous evidence to... Uh, more sinister motives when we went inside the Wayback Machine. We looked at the links, both forward and back. The forward links showed no evidence of reality, no, no third party or valid um, data to back up their claims. The back links were very revealing. They showed us uh, clues, more clues that this was a hoax, and by adding the EDU uh, to the search we were able to find out that this perhaps is a, a website used to teach website evaluation. So um, I guess in this case, Save the Rennets would be busted.